What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Simba's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Iron Factory. Yeah, you're not gonna get me with that, buddy. Sorry, no, sir. That. That's what we're looking at. It's all loaned to me from Robert D, my go-to legends guy and home team expert. I like Iron Factory for the most part. I don't have a big allure to this character, but I'm still anxious to see what they did with him. So I'm anxious to take a look at him. And in order to do so, we need to start with accessories. So he comes with a nice assortment of hands. Two posing hands, two kind of stylized bent wrist sword holding hands, and then two standard holding hands. That's in addition to the two fist hands you saw in the opening footage. All styled the same, which we'll talk about when we get to the figure. And then he comes with this sword and scabbard. The sword is removable. It has a gold base paint there and then a silver for the blade, whereas this has the base paint here and the gold added on to it for the scabbard. So really well done. He'll hold it in the bent wrist hand. He'll hold it in the standard holding hand. The scabbard will peg into holes on his waist and there is one on each hip skirt. So the world is your oyster. That peg in the samurai armor can also be used uh, in cat mode. So let's talk about the figure. Painted beautifully per usual. Iron Factory kind of knows what they're doing in that department. We have, I think, I think the blue is the base of the plastic. The silver is painted on, the yellow is painted on, and the silver is painted on the ears. Head is on a ball peg. You get up to there, down to there. Uh, forgive. Swivel. And a little bit of attitude, or catitude. Am I right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough, enough with the, with the silly games. It's serious business. You know what I mean? Let's get down to it. All right. So with the backpack, we have this bit here. It's a ball peg that attaches, and it comes to another ball peg, and then that ball peg attaches to a C clip, or it's actually, is it a C clip? Yeah, a C clip that holds the tail, and the tail can, as a result pretty much get completely out of the way, which is pretty smart. So it can come down and sit pretty flush against the arm, or you can get it up and out of the way, adjust the arm, and then between the double hinge basically here, it's a ball peg to a hinge, and then a secondary hinge, and then another ball peg. Between all of that, you should be able to get the tail in line so that it works. Pretty smart stuff, gold accents painted on. No complaints. We have a ball peg for the shoulder, gets the arm up to there, we have a bicep, swivel we have a double jointed elbow this uh, you just saw that's on a hinge so you can drop the shoulder down if you would need to i don't think that you would need to and the wrist swivel where it plugs where it plugs in on the ball peg so you get a little bit of in out and up down there as well all right so this arm is the same for the other side however the head is completely independently articulated obviously and so ball peg here, the base to a hinge to another, ultimately to another ball peg in the, the mouth, I mean in the head, and then the mouth is on a hinge as well. So, and, and these side little pieces here are on hinges too. So you should be able to get that exactly where you need it for the articulation. And hopefully I'll be able to show some pictures here at the final thoughts. All right, for the chest, we have this metallic gold painted beautifully. No real paint on the arms, uh, with the exception of the little red accent there and the the cat, the, the, do, the paws, the doll paws. We have this uh, metallic red here, looks beautiful, and then we have the silver and blue painted on, silver down here, the abdomen, and the red painted on. The uh, abdomen there is on a ball peg, so you're going to get the swivel, you get a little bit of an ab crunch forward and back, you get a little bit of a teapot, so pretty much exactly what you would want. Hip skirts are on ball pegs, they'll get up and out of the way. For your T-jointed ball joints for hips, that gets you the full Van Dam And the full Monty. Thigh swivel. So uh, gold accent there. We have double jointed knee for the full run. We have red and silver paint, gold paint. For the ankles, we have, feels like a ball peg. Limited tilt down, limited tilt up but a pretty good rocker. So, and plenty of uh, red and gold accents to boot if I didn't mention it. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty well done. You know, action figure wise, there it is from the back. Size comparison wise, there it is with the Hasbro Legends and the old Iron Factory scale, as well as the Iron Factory Tarn. So I think pretty much what you'd imagine it to be size wise. Let's get him transformed. So at first we have a lot of stuff to turn around. So turn the head around, 180. Turn the feet around 180. Once you're here, you can bend these 
bend the f up and bend the heel down and then move the ankle here and I guess that actually that's an ankle tilt down right that's a better ankle tilt down if you're counting that and also we want to rotate at the thigh 180 and that will have everything where we need it I knew I was forgetting to spin something also spin the paws the dog paws around 180 a lot of spinning all right so undo these thigh covers they're gonna need to rotate down uh, anyway but just get them up and out of the way for the time being and then you're gonna bring up your your hip skirts and bring those around and then you have the tail piece here you want to bring this down and around you may have to spin this tail to get it lined up but get it lined up use all of your joints in order to do so you've got this bar here that you can flip down if it hasn't come and flip down already and <clears throat> you just want to tab that in to the thighs now you can also start sorting your armor and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this on camera to be honest with you but uh, you can start sorting your your thigh armor too while you're going about it yeah so I'm gonna do it off camera but you need to get this pegged in and then get the thigh armor pieces up and underneath the tail and I'll kind of show you what that looks like when it's done for the upper body it says to open up this chest piece and then bring the arms down I'm not sure that you need to because it like you can bring them down whether the chest is open or not I guess maybe you can't get as far down I don't know and then just sort your arms make them look like you know lines and then put these hip skirt pieces like around uh, the shoulder part of the lion and lastly just bring the head watch your like kind of samurai armor down and cover down and then use your samurai armor to kind of cover the sides and this is a double hinge one cover the back I'll get them cleaned up we'll take a look at them and here's what you got and it's cool enough I love all the painted details here in the crest and it like the samurai motif definitely pulls through with like the lion instead of the mane it looking like samurai armor like I kind of dig that conceptually and then we have you know like the the bells and whistles pink eyes the gold details painted around the jaw does open and close uh, the samurai armor like you can move the head about like a good bit like side to side is pretty crazy you know up down the tail will get it, get you a little wiggle waggle on that ball peg uh the legs are a little limited because they're pegged in with that t-joint there so you kind of just get the backward and forward movement here and not even really the rockers like you have it but it's kind of worthless because you can't get the i mean you can just separate the legs and then use it you know which is what i would do i don't know if you need that that part of the transformation anyway but it's the only part that stays pegged in uh which we'll circle back to in a bit and then you have the kind of the all the arm articulation up here, which is pretty effective. So yeah, I mean it's fine. It's it's cool enough, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as cool as robot mode, but I do like how the kind of motif of the lion and the samurai pull through in both modes. And there's tiger tracks. Yes, it's on your frame. So let's talk about my negatives. It is mainly, well, here's a quick one. The ball pegs that the arms attach to, the swap out hands rather, it's a little t bit of a tight fit. Not super easy to swap them in and out. Normally I wouldn't even mention something like this too much, but it is Iron Factory that we're talking about and I've been kind of on them since the beginning about some of their tolerances. My only other real criticism of this guy is that like this is uh, just one of many kind of Iron Factory releases I've looked at recently where the alt mode engineering doesn't feel super solid to me it's just sort of like this sits next to this this sits next to that just kind of deal with it it's fine it's it's fine right guys right guys fine here we're fine how are you where not everything seems super solid and secure and to be fair with this one the one thing that is super solid and secure you kind of feel like you need to unpeg anyway to kind of get more movement out of the legs so maybe I can't hold them ultimately responsible for this one but it's just something I've been noticing a lot recently with some of their uh, pieces but they've also been doing a lot of animals and stuff maybe there's some leeway that needs to be had there i'm willing to concede that 
Positives wise, beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint. I love how the samurai motif carries through in both alt mode and robot mode. I love the two different style holding hands for the sword so that he can kind of have it angled down. It's very samurai, very Japanese. I like it a lot. That's one of those thoughtful things that not everybody thinks about in regards to holding hands and accessories. And it's pretty well articulated, especially in robot mode. So yeah, it's a recommend from me. I'm just looking forward to some of their more alt mode vehicle releases. But until then, this one will do fine. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.